one at their own 17. Now with 1.36 left to go in the first quarter, the Pinos take it over. From their own 17, split backfield. Double tight end set up, wing to the far side, Dunaway. Schloop in behind center, Clint Blankenship takes the snap, handoff safely. And he comes near side behind Danny Porter and Travis Porter. And they pick up about two. Eddie Williams made the tackle for the Bombers. As a matter of fact, safely picked up three. It'll be second down and seven. Mark it at the 20. Just shy of the 20, but 19 and a half. Go ahead and say it's at the 20. One minute left to go in the first quarter. Coming up at halftime, we've got all things to talk about. All kinds of things, as a matter of fact. We'll go over the new district assignments. California will be 3A next year. We'll also run down some of the playoff activity elsewhere in the state, 1A through 5A. That's at the half. Under one minute left to play in the first quarter. No score. Schloop gets the snap, second and seven, drops back the pass. He pumps, he comes near side. It's complete to Jay Gump. Jay's got some blocks, but I tell you what, that bomber defense converged very, very quickly. I tell you, Rob Rogers came up and made a good tackle right there. Looks like Eddie Williamson was there again. They read the play very well. Jeff Stern was also there. They saw what was a short completion, and they kept it that way. And Gump's got good speed. Yeah, he had some blockers too, but that broke down quickly. As you said, those defensive players got in there and uh, just messed that play up from the start in California. What looked to be a good play turned out to be nothing. Now well, picked up about two yards. It's third down and five from the 22. I formation, wing to the far side, Dunaway. Here's the snap, Schloop drops back to pass, rolling far side. He's still looking, he's still running, he throws, it's complete to safely. And he's shy of a first down by about a yard. And then he is drilled out of bounds. Tyler Dunaway was over there. He uh, got some help. Don't want to confuse you folks, but there's a Dunaway playing for the Bombers, and of course Shane Dunaway playing for the Pinos. And, well, it's going to be a lot shorter than I anticipated. It's going to be an official's timeout. Well, the first quarter has come to a conclusion, but as we hold it here for a second, looks like that chain over there is not even, well, they're going to bring the chains out. Okay, I see what they're doing. The down marker has been moved aside, and they measure it. It's shy of a first down by about an inch. I don't see how they've held by about an inch. That tip is right there on the yard marker, so it can't be by much, Troy. Well, the Pinos will make a decision here. The score at the end of the first quarter as we keep it right here at Moss Field, California nothing and John Burroughs nothing. Jeff? Pinto football, remember when is uh, our way at the Farmers and Traders Bank of supporting the high school athletics program rather than average... So go get them. Remember when brought to you by the Farmers and Traders Bank. Fourth and an inch in California will punt. They can't take any chances this deep in their own territory. They didn't get it. Burroughs will have the ball at the 27. Dunaway will uh, punt. Bob Cranston along with Lockmiller standing back at their own 45. Here's the snap by Ratcliffe. Here's the punt. And it is... A line drive, and it's going to drive Lockmiller way back. It gets over his head. Lockmiller's going to let it bounce. It's going to be a tremendous punt. It's across the 20, down to the 15 of the Bombers. Actually, they'll mark it at the 16, dead right there, and a tremendous punt by Shane Dunaway, the Tri-County Conference first-team punter with an average of 37.5 on the year. We ran down his accomplishments. Second-team all-conference receiver, first-team DB, First team punter, and he kicked fairly well. Got honorable mention for that as the place kicker. That was a fine punt, a good spiral. It got over the head of the receiver, and the Pintos just let it roll, and this is the first time John Burroughs has had bad field position all night. I'm no good at math, but uh, he kicked it from his 27 to their 16, whatever that is. <laughs> a long ways. Here's Edwards on first down, handoff. Actually, a pitch, and Lockmiller stuck hard at the line of scrimmage safely. Trevor Theroff. Dunaway there, and also Clint Blankenship, the near side defensive end. So folks, you get out your calculators and figure it out. Football field's 100 yards long. Dunaway kicked it from his 27 to their 16. That helped his average, and it was already good at 37 and a half a kick. Might have lost a yard on this carry by Lock Miller. As a matter of fact, they did. They'll mark it right at the 15, second down and 11 as the Bombers break the huddle. Just underway in the second quarter. There's no score from Moss Field, Webster Groves, Missouri. Edwards gets in behind center, gets the snap, and a fake to the die man, optioning Edwards, keeps it, and is stuck hard. He's drilled. This Pinto defense is fired up and coming up with some big plays. I think Job was over there to get in on that tackle. 
It's gonna bring up third down and 11 as Edwards just picks up about a half a yard. I think John Burroughs now looking at his Pinto defense and saying, man, I don't remember these guys hitting this hard. Troy, the longer the Pintos can keep John Burroughs from breaking that long one or keep driving on them, the better they're gonna be in this ball game. It just gives them uh, that much more momentum and for the Pintos, that's what they need going into this football game. All the momentum they can get. Bombers break the huddle, third down and 11 from their own 15, facing the 5-2 defense. And here's Edwards, he runs into his own man, he's under pressure, he's in the end zone, a flag down, it could be a California safety. Job was all over him, we'll have to wait and see. The Bombers more than likely will be called for holding. Did they get Edwards in the end zone? Unless they grabbed a hold of a face mask or something. Let's see, there's the official, yep. It's a face mask against the Pendo, so that's gonna nullify that great defensive play. Oh, a tough, tough break. They had Edwards close to the goal line. They may have had him sacked in the end zone. We can't see the goal line from here, but it was darn close. I think maybe Clint Blankenship might have grabbed that face mask, and you're right, that would have been a safety. The ball setting in the end zone right now, but this is going to nullify that penalty in a big defensive play. All right, well, we'll see where they mark it. <laughs> well, it was a 16-yard loss, and it's a 15-yard penalty. Plus an automatic first down. Yeah. Well, well, no, I don't know. That's a personal foul. I don't know if the face mask... No, face mask doesn't bring up an automatic first down. It'll be third down and 10. They get the down over. That's what happens right there. So let's see if the Pinos can hold. Edwards behind center. Two men in the backfield out of the eye. Edwards, and it looked like a dive play, actually a draw play, and the ball was fumbled. Draw play that was fumbled. The ball carrier, I believe, was Cranston. Obviously, they don't get the first down. As a matter of fact, they lose a couple of yards. They're going to have to punt it. Yeah, Cranston got that ball right there at the line of scrimmage. Kind of bobbled it as he got it handed to him. It fell out of his arms, and he luckily fell on it. Boy, if the Pintos could have recovered there, they'd have been in real good shape. But as it is, they'll get the ball back in pretty good field position. The Pinto defense playing very, very well, folks. They have kept the Bombers out of the end zone. Nine minutes exactly left to go second quarter. Lock Miller's the punter. He's standing at about his own goal line. He gets the snap, he punts. It's high, and taking it is cutting right at the 50. He goes to the far side, looking for some daylight sideline. 45 to the 40, and he's out of bounds. At about the 38-yard line. Out of bounds, far side. Boy, Cutting was looking for some daylight. Rob Rogers knocked him out. He almost was put down at the 48, but he got away from a bomber and picked up seven or eight more yards. So now, Jeff, the Pinos have some tremendous field position. Yeah, they do, and that's got that crowd across the field fired up. A lot of Pinto supporters followed their team up here, either on the, the coach that they uh, rented and put everybody in, or they drove up, but California has a lot of fans here clapping on the sideline. 38-yard line of John Burroughs. The Pinto's from left to right. Sloop behind center, wing to the far side, Dunaway. Out of the eye, safely the fullback, the tail is cutting. Dunaway in motion near side. Here's the snap, Sloop pitches to cutting. Got daylight, he's got some running room still on his feet. He is across the 35, down to about the 32. Hard running on first down by Blake Cutting. The first team Tri-County Conference running back coming in, had over 1,100 yards on the air. He picks up about seven right there as Bill Lockmiller brings him down. He was the first man there, Troy. There was a whole host of Burrow bombers there on him, and it took about five people to bring him down. There's about five people on Burroughs' team pushing him one way and about five Pintos pushing him the other way. Second down and four from the 32. Wing to the near side is Dunaway. Double tight end set up. Job far side. Tim Cushion near side. Split backfield safely and cutting. Sloop the snap. Hand off and safely dives across the 30. Dives for the first down to the 29. And with the dive, he might have gotten it. Yeah, I believe he, it's going to be close if he didn't anyway. And this is the way we like to see this Pinto offense run, just clicking off the yardage and getting the first downs. And here's a big play. They need a good first down right here. It's going to be short by about a half a yard. Here's a big play. Wouldn't it be something if the Pinto's could get the first score of the game? Boy, that would really, really be on the Pinto's side when it comes to uh, getting that early momentum in this ball game. At the Bomber 29, Sloop behind center, wing to the near side, Dunaway out of the eye, safely the fullback, the tail is cutting. Third and a half a yard, Sloop hands off, die, play safely stacked up, but I think with his forward progress, he might have got it. With yeah. his initial lunge, I think he got it, but then he was stuck hard and driven backward. 
Brian Schnuck, or I beg your pardon, Rob Rogers, was in on the tackle. They're going to have to bring the chains out and mark this one. It's going to be that close. Yeah, this one is going to be close. Looking from here, it looks like he may have gotten it, but uh, we hate to guess being way up here. It's a matter of the length of the football here in these measurements, and it, it has been all night. It's been this close all night long. Measurements, that's what it's about the third or fourth measurement. They're shy by about two to three inches, and they got to go for it here. Yeah. If you're Coach uh, Hickman on the sideline, you got to give that offense a chance here to, to establish some early, early momentum. That's what he's going to do, Troy. When you're nine and one, you should be able to get a yard against anybody. Yeah. Either John Safely or Blake Cutting, either one should be able to get a yard. All right. Penos break the huddle from the 29. Check that, the 28 and a half. They need about a half a yard. They get it to the 27. They've got a first. Quick snap count. Sloop didn't get it. Sloop didn't get it. A quick snap count.